Let's see how to design the photovoltaic plant on the inclined surface, but using a DXF file or DWG file. So let's go to the 2D graphics and upload a DXF or DWG file. Click on a point in the site plan, select the file and choose a scale factor. If we have designed 1 1, 1 to 10, 1 to 100 or 1 to 1000, so we need to choose how we have designed in the CAD file. So import the DXF entity. Now we have a trace to use to model the plant. We locate the format. Now we have the area in which we can design the plant, probably with an obstacle present. So this here could be our obstacle, for example, our chimney. How can I model all building with Solarius? I can easily use and locate with quickly step, as we see in the previous video, the inclined surface. So we are always using the inclined surface. So now I'm going to draw the first shell. But now I have a guideline, the DXF file. Apply, we enter in the editor. I'm drawing the codex shell now and I'm going to set the inclination. We set, in this case, the inclination through three points. So vertex one will be located to this point here. P2 will be located to this other point here. P3 will be located to this point. I can automatically select the point and give the inclination to the roof because I have P1 as a reference point. So I obtain a 3D view of this surface. I see it as an inclined plan in an empty space because I didn't create a vertical enclosure. So now, let's see how to create the um, vertical enclosure. Let's go in the edit again and draw the enclosure. This surface will have the maximum height of 2.10 meters. Now we are going to fill it both surfaces. Now we go in the 3D view. We want to draw the chimney. Let's go in the site plan because here we have the obstacle tracing. To represent this object, I'm going to use the generic volume. So let's draw it. I can select in the plan or in the 3D view and make the extrusion. So I can put, for example, 6 meter. So what happened? If I go to the shaded view, I see a shadow. I can see this shadow in every day I want. Or I can generally see the sunset or the sunrise time. So I can verify how this object produce shadows on inclined surface. But why I need to study the shadows? This analysis is very interesting because uh, could be seasonal, could be periodic or maybe annual. 
and this allow me to figure out if the site is good or not to produce energy with a photovoltaic plant. I can see if a place is always in the shade, for example, and this shows the big potential of a beam software, because I can figure out if the plant could be efficient or not. And I can tell uh, the situation to the client. And this is very interesting and shows the real potential of the, of the software, of a BIM software like Solarius PV. If I see the shadows is just in some place, if it's okay, so I can go on and design the plant. The design of the plant goes on just if I click on generate the photovoltaic field. It automatically recognizes surface, inclination and orientation. And it recognizes the correct position of all modules and their inclination. So I'm now designing with maximum power criteria. So I'm going to cover the maximum area possible. I'm going to apply a filter. I want to see all modules about 300 Watt. So equal 300 Watt, polycrystalline. We obtain 18 modules and the automatic position of the modules in the 3D view. So here we see a detail. We have a polycrystalline type. On a plant surface, we can see also the module structure. I can always select the module and go to the mask on the right. I can assign all specification I want and I can also change the specific uh, model. I can activate a view and see a technical report of the module. I can interact with the internet and the database or I can deactivate the transversal roads. So if I design the plant then I have possibilities to customize all view plans. 